I'm Miss Sanchez and I'm here to talk to you today about how you make your own fine motor pack to work on those skills that are very important for the young learner. So in our pack today we have a a carton, a, a little clothespin, it could be wooden, plastic, whatever you have at the house, and um, a cotton ball depending on the size of your egg carton. I have a dozen, so 12 cotton balls for me. Um, you're gonna have um, 12 toothpicks, seven are whole and five are broken in half. And you're gonna either make some homemade Play-Doh or get a little pack of Play-Doh to use with your toothpicks. You're gonna have uh, also 12 cotton swabs, seven are whole and five are cut in half. And then the other thing is um, save a medicine, a medicine container and 10 lids. And later I'll show you how you use these for matching um, your vowels, capitals and lowercase. So we're gonna start with the egg carton. So in the egg carton, you're gonna want to set it up by putting the numbers. I put zero here just so the children realize that zero is nothing and they don't put any cotton balls there. And then I labels uh, one through 12 on each little cup, there's one number. So with the students, you'll have them use their little um, clothespin and grab one cotton ball and count with you. You say zero and you don't put anything and then you say one, two, three, all the way to 12 and the children are counting with you. Later on, when they're having a snack, you can say, hey, I want you to have eight goldfish. And you can have them actually count in the cup that says eight, eight fish crackers. But for this beginning part, they'll just do one in each place and count to 12. If you save an 18 pack carton of eggs, then you can write all the way up to 18. So then we're going nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's one activity. They're using their fine motor pinchers Make sure they have their two resting fingers, no matter if it's the right hand or the left hand, two resting fingers and three hands are doing the pinching and using those, those fine motor skills. So that's one activity in your fine motor pack. Another activity would be to just take these Q-tips and make the letters um, that we have all, all big lines or little lines. So this is what we call a big line. And then the half size is the little line. Okay, so for example, if you want to make the letter T, it's quite simple because it's a big line and then there's a little line right on top. So you can make that, of course, on the table. I'm showing you up in the air because that way you can see it. So you're going to make the letter T, you can make the letter F, and you can make the letter E, I, you can make the letter um, T, H, E, I, F, L. And then the same goes with the Play-Doh and the toothpicks. So you're going to work on the same concept, but an additional benefit with the, with the toothpicks and the Play-Doh is they'll take the Play-Doh and pinch it into small sections, and then they'll use their hands to roll it. And that way the little ball will be the connections at the, where the little lines and the big lines meet. So for example, for the letter I, you're gonna need one big uh, toothpick, big line, and two little lines, and the connection will be actually at the top and the bottom of the, the big line because the little lines are gonna connect across. And so you'll have your little line connecting here at the top and one little line connecting at the bottom. You don't have to use Play-Doh, but I like the Play-Doh because it gives you a little added um, work with the fine motor and they get to play with it. Also, I'm gonna um, have a recipe that you can follow um, that I found online that's quite simple and you don't even have to have a stove, you just need to have boiling water. So you could have just a microwave in the classroom or at the house. And so that's another simple way to make those letters that have all big lines and little lines. And that is something that I enjoy doing with the students and even with my own kids when they were younger. And the last thing is the medicine um, container with the vowels. So you're gonna save 10 different lids. I saved Gatorade lids and water bottle lids. And so basically you have 
A E I O U in the capitals. Uh, I try and make the capital uh, letter lids a little bit bigger, but if you have to use all water bottle lids, it works as well. So basically the children will just dump them out and then they'll match the letter A with the capital A. Um, and so you basically have all vowels, A E I O U in the lowercase and um, the uppercase capitals. And it's just a fun activity for them to, uh, to match them up. And then later, if you want, you can save more lids and do the whole alphabet and they can start spelling words. They can be matching up all the lowercase and uh, uppercase. So anyway, it's a fun activity. You can sing along, you can have fun with it. You can find a video online that would be fun for them to um, sing along with. And then they store right back in here. So the little lid goes inside the big lid uh, and then they can line up inside of the medicine uh, container. And all of these items, the best part about it is they're all recycled. They're all things that, um, that I had around the house that um, I did have to make. The, the Play-Doh, of course, was from the store, but I could have made some. So I hope that you like the video. I hope that you can make your own, own fine motor pack at home. And now you know how to use it.